cut it to two in the second half, I did not rise to the occasion. We had the ball out of bounds, baseline, and we did not do a good job of running a play that would get us a bucket, let alone getting the ball in bounds. We turn it over, and that was the game. That was our moment to seize the game, and I, as a coach, did not get it done. There you go. <laughs> Is it, I mean, even so, if you still had plenty of time left at that point, do you, I mean, somewhat disappointing that you guys couldn't bounce back from that, that delayed of a run they had there? There's, there's no way we're going to bounce back from that. You know, they're too good a team. We needed to seize the moment right there. That was our moment. That was our moment. There's a moment in everyone's life where you got to seize that moment. And we didn't do it, and that is my fault, you know. Nothing else. We, we, there's no way we're coming back from that, and, and I just have to do a better job in that situation. I've got to put our guys in situations where they're playing to their strengths, and every possession I've got to have focus because we can't, we can't take it for granted. We can't take it for granted just getting the ball in bounds is going to happen. You know, we got to be ready and, and, and set something up that's definitely going to get that ball in bounds and hopefully get a good shot out of it. You know, that, that, that could have been an opportunity where we get two points and we tie the game. It, we it, turn it over and they bump and go on that run and bump. That's the game. That's the game right there. So. I have no problem with any of the guys. Um, I just got a problem with myself uh, at that moment, you know. So statistically, you guys did a good job on Brown, but Jackson kind of killed you guys from the perimeter. He's a very good shooter, yeah. you know. I mean, he's a good shooter. They've got some guys who aren't great shooters, but he's one that really can shoot. He didn't take any shots other than a three, but. It makes it a tough matchup because Brown is such a good penetrator and some of the other guys are really good and they're really good inside, you know, that he gets some opportunities because you're helping on other people, basically. And he does a great job of it. You know, he does a great job of getting his opportunities when you're trying to help on other people. We can't guard them one-on-one -on -one in the post. We can't guard them one-on-one -on, -one on the perimeter. So you got to help. But that leaves some guys open, you know. But again, we were getting a rhythm, you know. We were in that second half. We were getting a rhythm to defend them, and we were making them really work for some things. Um, and then the, you know, boneheaded out of bounds play rears its ugly head, and then that was the, that was the game. Well, in hindsight, what would you have done differently there? I mean, just we we would have drawn up a little bit different play. I mean, we've got a couple of out of bounds plays on the end line. But when you've got a timeout, you can change, you can tweak it a little bit, you know. And uh, I was too concentrating, I think, defensively. I was a little bit too, you know, talking about what we're doing defensively as opposed to seizing that moment to tie this game up, you know, right there. You know, we, we you know, good coaches draw up a good play after a timeout to get a, get a good look, you know. And not only did we not get a good look, we turned it over. And that's totally unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. So, you guys, and again, not to put too much emphasis on statistics, but you guys only forced eight turnovers, I think, and they got sixteen. They got, they got several points off your turnovers. You right. Got, you got to right. force more than eight turnovers, I would think, against a, yeah. a team like that. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, you do, but the, again, that's a catch twenty-two for us. If we're out pressing and trapping too much, then we're leaving that basket area. We feel like we get killed when they're doing stuff around the basket. And, and I think we get injured from threes, but we don't get killed. Even, even 11 for 26, that's 33 points, right? Didn't do a terrible job on the board. I mean, on the boards, we didn't do a terrible job free throws. But time after time, when we give up stuff around the basket, that's what kills us. Injured, three-pointers injurious, but we gotta, we got to try to not get killed. I mean, it, Armstrong, I mean, you think about it. Every game that we have, we have not been in, that's what kills us. Stuff around a basket, you know, uh, driving to the basket, post-play, rebounding, that type of thing, you know. So 
you got to pick your poison. I think we, I think particularly we have to pick our poison. And, you know, I, again, I think if we'd have been a little bit more solid on some other things, didn't turn it over ourselves enough, uh, as much, yeah, I think we could have withstood the threes. I think we could have withstood the threes. So.